This movie is set on the border between Iran and Turkey, and on each side of that border there is a love story. On the side of Iran, soldiers and Gozala, and on the side of Turkey, Bakhtir and Zara are in love. Both couples are Iranians, struggling hopelessly to overcome misfortune and misery. Even their fears are almost the same. Who has an active role in both stories is the one sitting on the edge of the border, who one time stands exactly on the border, Jafar Panay, the legendary Iranian director. This structure is wonderful, a director not an ordinary one is positioned between two intriguing stories. In one of them, his unveiling engaging in an alpha he appears as a director. He now resides in a border village, remotely directing his cast and crew are working on the other side of the border in Turkey via video calls. Pano is banned from crossing the border, but what fascinates above all is his decision to be as close to the film location as possible. With internet connection he can do his job in Tehran, but he feels much better here near the location. This is his fay. Among his team Pano is respected, nearly idolized, but by the villagers he is considered only a stranger, who can't be entirely embraced. His events suspected of being a spy, thrown in this village, Pana is unfamiliar with their traditions. He playfully takes pictures of what they find interesting, of kids, adults and perhaps couples. The photography is not forbidden by their traditions, but there is allegedly a picture that Panay has taken of a young couple, who weren't allowed to be together by the tradition. This couple are that soldiers and Gozal, who love each other, but are forbidden to marry because after birth, Gozal's umbilical cord was cut in the name of another guy, and so she belongs to him now. But love does not lessen to traditions. So and Gozal have secret relationship. That picture of them, which is told Panay has taken, can harshly dishonor them. We never understand if he has taken a picture of them or not. Panay deliberately doesn't give us a certain clue. He constantly denies this photo. However, we remember in an early scene when he was taking pictures of kids for a moment turned to the wallet tree and took a picture of an unseen subject. Whether the couple are in his picture or not, Panay's message is lucid, the absurdity of a tradition that after years has power to annihilate. It is useful to be reminded what one of the locals told Panay in the dark alley. Here we have problems with superstitions. True, this village is totally surrounded by traditions and superstitions. The villagers fiercely believe in these uncommon things. Panay remarkably shows their beliefs and the catastrophe to which these beliefs can lead. Yet the story doesn't portray these people as someone who are trapped in their traditions. There are some youth in this village as soldiers and Gozal who don't surrender and don't fear. And he beautifully points out how our fears fit superstitions and how superstitions reproduce those fears. Notice when he asked that local in that dark alley, so were the birds, as moments before that local warned Panay that there are birds on the path. But now he unapologetically responds there are no birds. These are the stories to scare us. Here, bird represents all kinds of superstitions. There is a master image early in the movie when Panay he reluctantly goes to the border in the dark and after a few steps he asks his assistant where is the borderline and he answers swiftly you are standing on it exactly camera moves from Panay's face to his feet then he instantly pulls himself back and then returns to the car the articulation is flawless Panay didn't leave his country when he had the best chance the implication is that leaving is not his dream and whatever his dream is his country is part of that thanks for watching and please subscribe to help me improve my channel like my video and comment on it I'm curious what you think about my reviews